second chances. You believe in them? We all do, right? At least in theory. But what about a 20-something guy convicted of robbing banks? As in five banks. You're going to plop down your money and pay for this convicted bank robber to go to law school? Sean Hopwood, he is the bank robber getting a second chance here from none other than Bill and Melinda Gates of Microsoft fame. A book Hopwood wrote certainly got their attention. It's appropriately called Lawman, My Story of Robbing Banks, Winning Supreme Court Cases, and Finding Redemption. And Sean is joining me from uh, Seattle where he's attending University of uh, Washington Law School. So Sean, welcome, welcome. Um, we're going to talk about the Supreme Court and the redemption here in just a moment. But first, you have to take me back. You have to take me back to 1997. You are a college dropout. You're broke. Maybe you're bored. Why did you rob these banks? Uh, Brooke, it wasn't just one reason. It was a number of things. Um, I woke up every morning with no real hope, no real guidance on what I wanted to do, and it was, you know, some depression issues, some addiction, drug and alcohol, uh, and just a feeling of hopelessness. And uh, when you don't think about your actions, you know, uh, how your actions will affect people, it, it means you're very desperate. So you weren't thinking? You weren't thinking when you did this? Uh, exactly, exactly. Okay. Uh, I was 21 when this happened, and uh, obviously it the guy you're talking to now is not the same kid that was 21 years old that, that did these horrible things. Well, let's talk about that guy. Um, but, but, you know, you did get caught, um, and you're, this is where your story takes such a different turn, because you filed this petition to the U.S. Supreme Court from prison on behalf of a fellow prisoner, and out of 7,000 petitions, the Supreme Court picks yours. You got this, um, you know, you could say it was a pretty lucky break, a break that is clearly changing your life. Tell me about that. Yeah, so it was one of those moments, much like when people have children, where you just know things aren't going to be the same anymore. Uh, a prisoner came running out one morning screaming and yelling at me, and this kind of gives you an example of what prison's like. My first thought was he was coming to fight me, uh, but you don't awful, uh, usually go to a fight carrying a newspaper, and it was a copy of the USA Today saying that this petition had been granted and how unlikely that was given it was filed by a non-lawyer and a jet prisoner. Okay, so that happens. You file this petition. Uh, then fast forward to, you know, Bill and Melinda Gates and this scholarship. Uh, only five were awarded. Five each year. It's incredibly competitive. You have received one of these. Uh, you are a convicted felon, Sean. So, so what do you tell all of those other people who applied who have not broken the law? And here you are, getting the scholarship. What do you say to them? Well, I say that it wasn't just, uh, they didn't give me the scholarship because I robbed banks. And they really didn't give me the scholarship just because I was able to make something of myself after that. One of the biggest criteria they used is they want people that can make a difference in public interest law, and they know what a huge issue mass incarceration is. We incarcerate more people than any country in the world, and they really knew that that's what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, and I'm dedicated to that. And that's one of the primary reasons why, why they gave me the scholarship. Sean, uh, and congratulations, but 20 seconds, what do you do next once you finish law school? Well, exactly what I told you. Uh, I want to become a lawyer that like specifically. Um, provides legal services to people that can't afford it, which is almost the majority of the population. <laughs> and I want to work on sentencing reform and helping people that uh, are disadvantaged. Sean Hopwood, good luck. Good luck. It sounds like a once hopeless man has turned into a man full of hope. We appreciate it. Thank you, Brooke. Young kids taking care.